describe childhood of apj abdul kalam kalam was born into a middle class tamil family in the island town of rameshwaram he was a short boy with rather undistinguished looks undistinguished means tamon kichu oshadharon noy while his parents were tall and good looking he lived with his family in an ancestral house which was a fairly large pukka house there he was brought up in their family where peaceful coexistence prevailed peaceful coexistence means shantipurno bhabe shobai boshobash korto he was provided with all the necessities in terms of food clothing and medicine his mother had a distinguished family background and his father possessed innate innate means inborn wisdom and true generosity generosity means udarota he considered himself lucky and privileged for having such parents a peaceful family and social atmosphere he would go to the old mosque in their locality and he was influenced by the spirituality intellectuality of his father later he tried to imitate his father in the field of science and technology all in all he had a materially and emotionally secure childhood who were considered as an ideal couple and why in the autobiographical prose peace strong roots dr apj abdul kalam said that his parents jainul abidin and ashi amma were widely regarded as an ideal couple both had great generosity his mother was an ideal helpmate of his father dr abdul kalam recalled from his childhood memory that his mother fed far more outsider than all the family members put together his mother had a distinguished family background but in spite of that he adjusted herself to the humble status of her husband both of them were tall and good looking his father had inborn or instinctive knowledge and kindness both had reputation prestige and dignity in their society for these reasons they were considered an ideal couple to the people of the locality who was very close friend of jainul abidin what did they discuss what did kalam's father say about prayer the high priest of rameshwaram temple pakshi lakshmana shastri was a very close friend of kalam's father jainul abidin dr abdul kalam depicted his childhood days when the two men each in traditional dress discussed spiritual matters Kalam had presented the classic example of communal harmony between the two religions. When Kalam's father was asked about the relevance of prayers, he replied that there was nothing mysterious about prayer. His father explained the spiritual thoughts and ideas in the very simplest of ways so that they could easily be understood. His idea was that prayer was a communion of the spirit among people. The prayer to God transcends one's body. and at the moment he becomes part of the cosmos where there is no division of wealth age caste or creed what was the fundamental truth who revealed it to him from his childhood kalam was greatly influenced by his father jainul abidin who possessed innate wisdom and true spirit his tremendous knowledge in spirituality helped to build the character of his son he firmly believed that there was the existence of divine power and it was the fundamental truth the existence of divine power and the belief of spirituality helped to overcome all hazards of life like confusion misery melancholy and failure everyone is guided to the true path of life by that belief his father explained that prayer transcends one and he becomes a part of the cosmos where there is no difference of caste wealth age or creed and physical bond he who prayers will achieve the path of freedom happiness and peace of mind kalam tried to realize this truth throughout his life he tried to implement the advice and the spiritual views of his father in the field of science and technology his father revealed such fundamentals of truth to his son kalam lifestyle of kalam's father after 60 what was the necessity of it how did it impress young kalam strong roots the piece is taken from apj abdul kalam's best selling autobiography the wings of fire it is a story of dreams hope success encouragement inspiration and motivation he got up very early in the morning and started his day at 4 am with performing the namaz he then went to their small coconut grove 
four miles away from their house. He returned home and about a dozen coconuts, carrying them in his shoulder. After that, he took his breakfast. It was his regular routine after 60. The necessity of it was that such a habit kept him strong and stable. He discussed spiritual views with his friend in the mosque. He always avoided inessential comforts and luxuries. This lifestyle of his father impressed Kalam very much. After following his father's ideology, he reached the top. His father's contribution helped him to become a complete man. Philosophy of life was instilled by his father. His way of life brought success and for that we get today's What are the advantages and disadvantages of the character of Kalam's father? Strong Roots is a piece taken from APJ Abdul Kalam's autobiography, The Wings of Fire. It is a story of success, dreams, hopes, encouragement, inspiration, achievements, and motivation. Here, Kalam expressed how important the morality, ethics, and value of parents is in one's life. Kalam's father was born in a middle-class Tamil family in Rameshwaram. His father didn't have enough wealth, and he was not highly educated. His family background was not remarkable, and these were the disadvantages of his father. But his father had innate spiritual knowledge and had a true generosity of spirit. His father, who was an ideal husband also, all the duties of his family were performed very carefully by him. Inessential comforts and luxuries were avoided, but he always provided the necessary items to them like food, medicine and clothing. Kalam got a secure childhood emotionally and materially because of his parents.